before asking, look what I have already. I have, uh, I want to show you first your final result. So those are cavatelli, baked, baked cavatelli, okay? Pretty much like lasagna, pretty much like lasagna, but we call it, it's a little different uh, pasta that we use. So we put here, we're going to taste it later, okay? So what you need for the cavatelli? First of all, we have to do the tomato sauce, okay? This is a tomato sauce that we really love. We just probably do this, you know, very, very often uh, because it's good, it's fast, it's light, and it's just delicious, okay? So what we have here in my, uh, my pet, I have uh, olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, of course. How much? Hmm, between, uh, I don't know, between two and 10 uh, spoon <laughs> or 12 is good. So as much as you want. And then we have onion. Ah, I love this, nice. Onion and garlic, our sofrito. Okay, so we do this. We, we uh, let it cook slowly with a little salt for a few minutes. Okay, because we want the onion and the garlic to be friend, to become friend, and to ah, and to give to your kitchen this wonderful, wonderful aroma, you know, happiness. Remember all happiness. So I just turn it around, okay? So this is something that you have to do before. So you are one of the uh, one of the ingredients that you have to have before you start is the tomato sauce done. Then you have to boil the pasta today. Here I cook half of this cavatelli, half package, okay? So you have to boil it and then uh, um, drain it and then put some olive oil so it doesn't stick to each other, okay? You can do that the day before, you can do that um, one hour before, it doesn't matter. It can be cold, room temperature, warm, with a, it's all good, okay? So the tomato sauce, the pasta, and then uh, you have to have the mozzarella. Okay, so you in your kit, you have fresh mozzarella. Fresh mozzarella is great. I love fresh mozzarella. Uh, do a lot of salad, caprese. Uh, you can use it on pizza, okay? And on cavatelli, on lasagna. But when you use it for, oh nice. When you use it for, uh, in case, it, when you cook it with the lasagna, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I will recommend to drain your mozzarella. So you just take this, uh, uh, all the, the liquid part a little bit out, okay? When you do the salad, no, 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 you want like mm, 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 this milkiness. But when you uh, put it on pizza or, you know, you cook with that, just uh, shred it and then uh, drain it. So I love this, it's just nice and kind of yellowish, you know, we sort of biondo, in biondine la cipolla, that means blonde. So when it's kind of blonde, your onion, you, we're going to put the tomato sauce. I'm going to use all this, okay? Even if, uh, because if I have some leftover tomato sauce, guess what, you can always use it. So you put everything, all that, and then a half, of water so you put the water inside and then you add it to that okay so the water I mean don't worry I mean the water oh, you can see that. okay so I kind of try to uh, you know sometimes I just close it and then do this shake it shake it shake it shake it and then ooh, voila okay so one bottle and half of water okay and then just ah let it cook. You know, this is cooked for 20, for 20 minutes, for 15, 20 minutes, uh, low temperature, you know, low fire. So, so we wait like this, 20 minutes. No, are you worried? I say, oh no, what are we going to do for 20 minutes? She's going to talk, 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 talk. No worry. I have one already done for you. So we love it. We love this here to boil. And then now we are going to shred the mozzarella and drain it, okay? 
so mozzarella. Oh, okay. So I learned this technique from my sister-in-law Rosella. When they do pizza with my brother Andrea, this is how she shreds the mozzarella, which is the fastest and more convenient and really very good uh, way to shred mozzarella. Okay, so you just do it with your hand, like destroy, destroy. Uh, yes, that, that's a very good uh, way to make the, you know, this action. And just leave it a little bit to drain. So it loses, it's, if you ask too much milk, it just loses a little bit, okay? Look at that, super fast, nice, wonderful, okay? If you don't want to do this, you can, if you don't want to use fresh mozzarella, you can always use a mozzarella, low moisture mozzarella, so you don't have to do this, okay? But it's good, ah! <laughs> okay, so we leave it here. If there is excess, it will just drain, and then our mozzarella will be ready to, uh, to use. Okay, here is this. Okay, so now our tomato sauce is it, it's done already. Let me do, put this here. And then we are going to take the cavatelli. Cavatelli, isn't it a beautiful name, cavatelli? Cavo in, uh, in, in Italian means that there is kind of hole, kind of, you know, cavo, incavato, you know, because there is a something, there's not a hole really, just like an in indentation. I don't know if it's a word, indentation, I hope so. Okay, <laughs> so we have our cavatelli, cavatelli pasta, and then we have the tomato. I will not put all the tomato sauce, put like maybe three fourths of that because I want it a little bit for topping. Mix. So, uh, look at this. Okay, so this one, mozzarella, we're going to put like same thing, you know, don't put all, put three fourths, so you just keep some for topping. Okay, and then, uh, of course, uh, we are going to put cheese, fresh grated cheese. You have in the kit your Romano cheese, that is very good, Pecorino Romano. I like that uh, saltiness of the Pecorino is very good. Pecorino, remember, is kind of Parmigiano, but different. Kind of is different. So they are very good friends. So in here, if you want to put some Parmigiano also, you can do it. Oh, mamma mia. Okay, so. Great that. This is as much as you want. There is really no limit in this recipe, okay? Done? This is done. Okay, so we put the tomato sauce, the mozzarella, the parmigiano, look at it, all mixed, okay? And then, here, now, variation. You can do whatever you want, you can add whatever you want to that. Hmm. So, what we're going to add? So, we are going to add some meat. This is sausages. I take the case out of the sauce from the sausages and then like cook it like that, destroy. Okay, and then so the, the the sausages. If you put beef, if you put anything, if you put mushroom, eh, asparagus, okay, or whatever you put now, it has to put, put it has to cook. It's very good also without anything. Okay. But if you want to do a uh, green peas, uh, mushroom, and then asparagus, what else? And then meat, you know, any kind of meat. Everything you add, it has to be cooked. Okay, done. Look at this. So, we have everything. We have the tomato sauce, the uh, pecorino, the mozzarella. I add some meat. Cooked. and then now I'm going to portion. I like to use these little guys, you know, that goes in the oven, of course, because they have to be baked. Okay, so I, uh, I spray, a little bit spray, and then you put one. You see, look, you, did, you do a lot with uh, just half package of the cavatelli. Look, this is a lot of pasta. Of course, you know, I, uh, I like to uh, portion it like that, but you can use a bigger, the, the same, uh, the same pan that you use for the lasagna. The same, you know, it's, it can be a big, it can be portion, but up to you. Okay, so now, you do this. 
compact, and then we put the remember the tomato sauce what we reserve for topping. So you finish that, put down a little bit of tomato sauce. We are going to put more pecorino because you they love pecorino, and at the end we finish with the mozzarella. What do you think? Good, eh? Meantime, if you remember, <laughs> put your oven at 400, maybe 420, 410, between 410 and 420, okay? Uh, so when it's warm, you can put it in, okay? So mozzarella. Again, guys, if you like a lot of mozzarella, you put a lot of mozzarella. You can finish up, you know, if you do the, the asparagus, is cute. You can put some asparagus like this. Oh, nice. Good. Asparagus, if you put asparagus, also remember, cook so you can, you know, grill it, put it in the oven. Yeah, they have to be cooked. Okay, we have more space. Ta-da! Look at this. Finish. And I have more. So, you know, really, realistically, we have... With half of uh, the package, so you do a lot. You do a lot. Maybe four of these, a big uh, pan, and etc. So now, what is uh, left to do in this uh, baked cavatelli? The bake part. So we are going to bake in a warm oven for between 20, uh, 10 and 15 minutes. Okay? When you see that all this cheese melt, that they look exactly like lasagna, okay? It has to melt on top, but remember there is all this cheese that has to melt with the, uh, the pecorino, and uh, so when everything goes, comes together, you just watch it like, oh, mm, I think it's good, <laughs> take it out, okay? So between 10 and 15 minutes, I always say. So, mm, buon appetito, this, this is a fun dish, you know, good, it's good, warm, uh, room temperature, you can make it in advance, it's very uh, beautiful for your uh, uh, future picnic. Hmm, now that's summer, right? You know, make cavatelli. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this recipe and then you do it and then you do it again and again and again and again. And uh, thank you very much, thank you all, big art, and uh, un bacio a tutti. Mwah!